Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. My name is Ray and today we're going to be starting a new project. We're going to be forging an herb chopper. I'm also going to be talking about a new tool I bought for the shop and as well as talking about using white vinegar to remove scale from your forgings. So let's get started. So I took this chopper blade that I'm working on and I put it in a pan, added some white vinegar, just enough to cover it. Now what I wanted to show you guys was a way of removing the scale before you do your grinding. It's not the quickest way but if, you, if you're willing to wait a few days up, up to a week you can knock most or if not all of your scale off. Now this has been sitting in the vinegar for about four days. You will notice that there is quite a bit of uh, flaking of the scale that has come off after about four days of soaking and you can start to see right here the actual raw steel starting to show through. Now why this blade here is soaking, I could be working on another blade, get that forged out and ready, and then I can take this one out, put that one in, and that way I always have one going, soaking in the vinegar, and I could be working and finishing another blade as this one is soaking. And I'll tell you one thing, sanding belts are pretty expensive, so if I can save them as much as I can, this is worth doing. So I should be able to go right to the belt grinder after this comes out of the vinegar in a few more This days. here is the Evolution 14 inch chop saw. So I went on to Amazon and I found this here for about $350 something dollars. Um, I've been saving up for it for quite a while. Got tired of spending money on cutting discs for my angle grinder so I decided to get one. And I gotta tell you, I've used it a few times and I absolutely love it. It works very, very well. And this here is what I used to use. It's an abrasive cutoff saw, but to be honest with you, I never really liked it. It was really, really slow, didn't have enough power and it created a hell of a lot of dust in the shop. So. I had to find a better solution. This here is going into storage until it finds a new home. The material we're going to be using for this project is 1095 steel. This piece here is a 3 inch inch thick by inch and a half wide and we're going to be using 8 inches of it. So we're going to begin by taking an 8 inch piece of stock and cutting a couple of notches just like I have drawn here. Then we're going to take it and forge it to look like this shape right here. And here you have it. So let's fire up the forge and heat up some metal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this tab down to gain access to it. So now that I've gained access I can start to work this down. Now we just continue to keep drawing it out. Alright, so I pretty much have that where I want it right now. So we'll set this end aside and we'll start to work on this end. Back into the forge. And now again we'll start by Peeling this tab out. Now 
Okay, so now we got this end pretty much where I want it for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat it up and we're going to actually start to force the bubble. So I'm pretty much done forging at this point right here, right now. What I'm going to do is molest, make sure the blade is straight, give it a good cleaning, and get it ready to do a couple of normalizing cycles. Then after I do that, I'm going to put it in the uh, vinegar bath, clean it and etch it, get the scale off, then do the rough grinding. And then basically after that, I will worry about forging the tangs to the, the shape that I want. I'm, I'm going to heat treat it first before I do that. So the main thing is to make sure it's nice and straight. Okay, so I've run the blade through two normalizing cycles and I've had a slight change of plan. I think what I'm going to end up doing is doing a little bit more forging on these two tangs. I definitely have some more shaping to do. I want to flatten these out, trying a different uh, handle shape than I've done in the past. So I think rather than exposing a heat treated blade to all this extra heat, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more of forging of these tangs and then we'll go over and do all the rough grinding in preparation for uh, final heat treat. So let's go. Okay so whenever I try something that I'm not really sure how it's going to work what I end up doing is I take a small little test piece and kind of see how it actually might work rather than running the risk of ruining a project that I'm working on. So I did a bit of a set down on the edge of the anvil and then I basically curled this back and this is going to be the handle if I can get this thing showing the right way so this is kind of what I have in mind I think it's going to work but anyway you'll see it more as we do it okay on our next heat we'll make sure we keep the radius of the fuller up tight against the anvil that way we don't have an extra step while we're forging it down Getting pretty close to where I want it. It's looking pretty good. Now a little bit of an adjustment. Straighten it out in the vise. Keep everything in line. Looks pretty good. Now on to the other side. All right, there we go. So I like this pretty much where it's at right now. This is basically going to serve as sort of a palm rest as you're actually using the blade. And you'll see this more as it comes together. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of a curve to it. Make it more comfortable in the hands. Okay guys, this is where we're at right now. I'm pretty happy with the way this come out. There's probably a couple things I'm going to change, like right in this area and up in here. I'm probably going to grind this out a little bit. I sort of did a mock mock up with with a shopping marker, as you can see, if this camera will focus. But I probably won't do this until after we get it in the vinegar and get the scale off. And when I start to do the uh, rough grinding, I think what will happen is I'll end up having a little bit of an issue with trying to bend this handle up because I want to bend it up and have it sort of follow the contour of the back of this. That's the plan anyway. And also I think the palm rest is a little on the large side so I sort of I sort of marked that up kind of what I'm thinking of grinding it to. So anyway let's get this ready we'll put it in the white vinegar and in part two we're going to work on these issues and we'll get this finished up. And we'll have ourselves an herb chopper. All right, so I've added the blade into a pan, so let's put in the vinegar. And 
And again, we're going to put in just enough to cover it. And there you have it. So in about a week later, we'll take it out and see how it looks. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't, I would really love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications on my latest video. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.